Hello, and welcome back to this Pokemon Crystal Nuzlocke. It's episode 9, I'm your host, Super Saiyan Blue, Lucario. Uh, let's just have a quick team recap before we get going here. First of all, we have Charles the Eevee at level 20, with Tackle, Tailwit, Sand Attack, and Growl. We have Treebeard the Sudo Widow, level 21, with Rock Throw, Rock Smash, Flail, and Low Kick. We have Magneto, the Magnemite, with Tackle, Thundershock, Supersonic, and Sonic Boom. Miss Hiss, the Arbot, level 23, with Bite, Glare, Poison Sting, and Headbutt. We have Bruce, the Croconaw, level 22, with Scratch, Leer, Bite, and Water Gun. And Angry Burb, level 19, the Spearo, with Pet, Growl, Leer, and Fury Attack. <coughs> A couple of changes to the squad, uh, which Snacky Snack. Our Lord and Saviour, Furret, has left the team, but he will not leave the layout. He is a permanent fixture in our squad, and will always be there. So, first things first, we are going to trek through the burn tower. Let's see if we can get an encounter in here. We didn't get one last on because it was filled with um, Ratata, the which was dupes. So, uh, uh, we still have an encounter in here to deal with. That's plenty fine. I'm just going to wonder. Oh, hello. All right. Let's see what we got. We got... It's... A coughing. A coughing is our encounter. It is the return... It's a male. It's the return of Randy from the Team Rocket Edition Let's Play series. Oh, yes. He has all of the bulk. The uh, big thing with the two main poison ones of Gen 1. Uh, Weezing having the physical bulk. Muck having the special bulk. That should be enough. Oh. Charles is poisoned. As you can see, yeah, Charles almost ready to uh, level up and hopefully enough to evolve. I cycled through Goldenrod for quite a, quite a lot to raise his happiness as much as possible. Gave him a couple of haircuts. He should be all right. All right, Pokeball again. Let's try this one more time. Come on, Randy. Uh, I'll give you a cup of tea if you come with me. I'll give you a cup of tea if you come with me. I'll give you a cup of tea if you... The jingle works, ladies and gents. The jingle. It works. Let's go. He won't be in the squad just now, but healthy backup for Miss Hiss if the uh, unfortunate should happen. Randy is returning. Because he'll get you with that explosion out of nowhere. Okay, first things first, let's heal Charles. And let's get rid of that poison as well. I have plenty of antidotes, so that shouldn't be any problem whatsoever. Okay. Now, yep, there's an item up here I can get, which I'm not sure what it is. So let's see. Uh, this encounter should be enough to get Charles up to the next level. So... Ooh, nearly a one shot. Now, there is one problem I have for the gym battle. He won't learn confusion because he's too high a level. Which means he won't get a psychic type move because it is daytime as long as he evolves. Yes, he is. Excellent. Um, he won't get a psychic type move until level 36. So, I'm not going to use him in Morty's gym, but I'm probably gonna super level him up and use him in Chuck's gym, the fighting type gym. That's gonna be the main go-to there, but he's only level 21 right now, so there's a lot of leveling to be done before we get to that point. I'm gonna switch and put Bruce up front for a bit, because I think this actual gym, there's a few mons I can use really, Bruce with uh, Bite, Miss Hiss, resisting um, attacks through the poison nature and having bites of run plus glare would be potentially useful I mean ghost is physical uh, we do have that bulk that defensive bulk so oh HP up um, free money yeah definitely gonna be uh, selling that later need all the money I can get really and now I believe it's time for a rival battle we want to unlock the dogs. Roaming legendaries 
they count as additional encounters uh, in the route. I've uh, queried this with other people who do Nuzlocke, and they use roaming legendaries as random. If they if they're not a randomizer, if you're not doing a randomizer, the roaming legendaries count as additional encounters. So say I'm in a route, I've already got an encounter, and I bump into a roaming legendary, I can try and catch it. But I will only get the one chance at catching them, pretty much. If it runs, that particular legendary will be forfeit. Unless it's one that you have to encounter multiple times before you are allowed to catch it, a la um, some of the roaming legendaries in later games. Where I think... In X and Y, you need to encounter some of the roaming legendaries 12 times before you can actually battle them. They'll just instant run, like before you even have a chance to do anything, so... And his holder goes a curse. A move that came in clutch against Whitney. See, I have mods in the PC I can turn to as well when it comes to the uh, gym battle. Rocky is a prime example, but Rocky's special defense is really not that great which is why I'd be a bit loath to use especially against a Gengar I mean of course the um, what's it called Shadow Ball and things like that they're physical in this gen so it won't be as good but it's still 80 base power which is pretty hefty my concern is Hypnosis Dream Eater combo that's where because obviously Psychic is special and would probably destroy Rocky. I do have a few Awakenings, so I'd be okay, I guess. But Either way, we are supremely underleveled for that battle, I think. And we definitely need some training. Uh, okay, who am I using? Miss S. Resist everything this thing can do. Treebeard. Let's go. Come back. Go, Miss Hiss. Chabak. Slap on a glare. I'm faster anyway, but would be nice to slap on the glare. It's it's not 100% accurate like it is in later gens, but it's still useful. Still very useful. Okay, let's go with Bite. Oh yeah, Bite special, isn't it? I was hoping for the flinch, but... Um... No. Now let's go for physical moves because uh, Bayleaf has a better special defense than physical defense. Like my uh, Meganium for competitive battling is a special tank. Which comes in very nicely. Oh yes, I'm loving that paralysis. Didn't really get the flinch, but I mean, it doesn't really matter because Bayleaf is going down. Poison Sting to finish it off. Yeah, buddy. Let's go. Nice amount of XP. Okay, Zubat's up next. Let's send in Magneto for some experience. I feel good now I've got an electric type in, this, in the squad, even though there aren't any water type gyms coming up or flying types i love having electric types in my squad i always make sure but well, i always try to have an electric type i do prefer having amphros but amphros isn't an option for me in crystal so first electric type that comes along magneto i'm gonna take it i'm gonna add it to the squad it has come in at the expense of Snicky Snick, but I'm sure we can manage. Snicky Snick will be making cameo appearances uh, as we progress through the game. He's probably going to be a major HM slave, I'm not going to lie. But he's still going to have his place in our squad, and he is forever in our hearts. Oh, sorry, she is forever in our hearts. Snicky Snick, we love you. We freaking love fur. Uh, okay, we have beaten Silver, and what? We've fallen into a hole. 
Yes, yes, I know, we fell into a hole. Now. Um, yeah, should be alright. Let's awaken the dogs. So now roaming legendary encounters are possible. Obviously we will get the Suicune as a static. Which... I might use it in the in the uh, playthrough. I mean, Lugia and Ho-Oh, if I can, if I choose to get them, will be level seventy. They'll be a bit overpowered. Uh, probably not going to try and use them. Suicune, only if Bruce dies. If Bruce is alive, then probably not. It's going to be a very handy water backup. It's probably more powerful, uh, especially. Uh, It'll probably be better use than Bruce, actually. Because Bruce is physical and water is entirely special. Plus it does get the uh, ice-type moves as well. We'll decide on that stuff closer to the time. Oh, it's using. Yes, well done you. I'm going to have to battle you later, aren't I? If I remember rightly, I have an encounter with him in Seanwood City. Well, let's do this. And, oh wait, I don't have strength, so I can't really do anything there. That's okay. So let's get out of the burn tower, shall we? We still have the encounters east of Ecritic there, Route 42. Still didn't get anything last episode. Um, I'm probably gonna do the Mount Mortar encounter as well. Purely because I want to get to Mahogany so that when I've finished in Sinewood City, I can literally just fly straight there. Just save a lot of time, just keep moving on. Then there's the static uh, shiny Gyarados as well. But again, Gyarados is a physical attacker. It doesn't become really, really useful until Gen 4. And obviously with that bite and crunch, they're dark type moves. So it actually, if anything, got worse between Gen 1 and Gen 2 because things like Bite and Crunch come off a special stat rather than physical stat, which they did in Gen 1. Well, Bite anyway, because Crunch wasn't a thing. Because Bite was normal then and all normal moves are currently physical. Uh, oh, let's just have the Pokemon Legend. Yada, yada, yada. That's probably about Lugia. I assume it's about Lugia. Now, let's go... Let's try to think what we need to do. Um, probably best to heal up, and then we're going to head east of Ecritic. If I still can't get an encounter um, east of Ecritic that's new, that's not dupes, I'm going to save that encounter for fishing or surfing. One of the two. It uh, depends on when I get my good rod. I don't actually remember where I get that. I'll need to look at that up before the uh, next episode. But okay, Route 42, here we are. Um, I just want to check, is it two routes before? No, it's not. So all of this is one route. So there is grass just before Mahogany, so I'm going to try in there first. So that means the first potential encounter is going to be Mount Water that we're going to go for. Okay, so let's go through here all the way across to Mahogany. Mahogany. Da, 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 da. Need strength to go through Mount Water. Speaking of Mount Mortar, there is a static encounter in here later in the game. I think I need Waterfall and Strength for that though. Because there is the static Tyrogue. Which can drain up, get one of the Hitmons. And because it's before Gen 3, I'd take Hitmon Top or Hitmon Lee. Because Hitmon Chan really isn't that useful until the physical special split because all of its the elemental punches are special and 
Hitmonchan has an appalling special attack stat. I think it's like 30 or something uh, for its special attack. But its physical attack is much better, so after the uh, split, it becomes really usable. And having those various type punches are very handy. And then you throw in things like Mark Punch, uh, Sky Overcut, Drain Punch in later gens. It becomes a moderately usable Pokemon. I don't really, I've, I've barely used the Hitmons actually. Um, although I am enjoying using Hitmon Lee at the moment with uh, the Reckless ability. A Reckless Life Orb Hitmon Lee. Because when High Jump Kick hits with that, it is destructive. Obviously, if it misses, you're screwed. You're pretty much a one hit KO yourself. But we can manage. Okay, let's get rid of these trainer battles. We've made it to Mahogany. Uh, probably do these trainer battles as well. Wasn't sure on the levels, but they're really easily dealt with at the moment. So, okay. Ooh, Doug Trio. This could be slightly concerning. Depends on the level. Oh, it's level 16. Really? Really? That is pitiful. It's still lit. See, this is how bad Bruce's special attack stat is. As bad as it sounds, I might need to look for a better water type. I could... If I get the good rod, I could fish in Olivine. That is an encounter. Uh, if I go to the docks, like by the ferry port, there is a very good chance I can get a Chinchow, which would be a water electric type, which means I may be able to replace Magneto uh, for a different Mon. So potential team changes again. There is a lot to consider. At the moment, Magneto is going to stay. At the moment, Bruce is going to stay. But if that opportunity does come up, probably going to take it. And at which point, I guess I'd have Bruce uh, for some of the water HMs in the background. It feels bad saying that about a starter, especially about something as good as a Feraligator. Like, sheer force Feraligator is a beast. When it's when it's on form after the physical special split, it's amazing. It's just not as good here, which is probably why I stuck primarily when I did the playthroughs um, when I was younger. I stuck primarily to Cyndaquil, so I'm not a huge Grass type fan. Although my first ever playthrough of Blue version, I'm pretty sure I went with Bulbasaur because it was the first thing I clicked on, but. At the same time, I, Chik I mean, and Chikorita, I think, was the very first thing I'd used on Silver, actually, when I got that. Quickly changed my mind to uh, Spa. I've played with uh, Cyndaquil when it came to Crystal. Uh, I think Crystal's the next one I got because my brother got Gold version. Oof, that's uh, way back when. I think 2001? They came out in the UK. Because uh, I, I remember getting it for Easter that year. It was, it was just sat in front of the Easter eggs. And I was extremely excited for it. Like, really excited. But I was also fighting to get to the chocolate as well. Because, let's be honest. Easter. Chocolate. It's what it's about. Well, not the full meaning of it. But at least these days. It's what more people associate with it anyway. This thing keeps spamming minimize. Fuck. Hey, we got it. It's okay. I was going to say, this is going to take forever. Come on, Magneto. If only we had lock on. That would have been perfect. Bruce is level 24. Fisher Tully was defeated. Yeah, boy. Alright. I need someone else to train up as well. Okay, let's battle you. You're a Pokemaniac. I'm fairly sure you're a Pokemaniac anyway. Now, if it's the same guy from the Christmas Nuzlocke, I think you're going to have a Nidorino and a Nidorina. Boom. 
It's like he's a psychic type. Okay. Bruce is coming up. Water gun. Let's just train. I think a level 25 Bruce would be enough. Let's get Miss Hiss to level 25 as well. I'm probably going to need someone else at a good level like that uh, for the gym as well. Oh, damn it. That was a good cup of tea. That was a very good cup of tea, not going to lie. I needed it as well. I was a bit sleepy before starting this recording. I think that's perked me right up. Okay, and it's a Nidorino as the next one. It's fine. Bruce is going to dominate this. Obviously, because I mean, I'm eight levels higher, so should be no problem whatsoever. So, how's the uh, new year going for everyone so far? Have you made a resolution? Have you broken your resolution? Have you kept your resolution so far? Leave a comment down below. Let me know what you've uh, decided on, if you've decided on any, and how it's going for you so far. What changes have you made for 2019? Mine is to be consistent on my uploads and upload time, sticking to the schedules that I set. So far, so good. I mean, I'm only two uploads into the year, but it's a start. And as long as I continue on that path, we're going to be fine. Okay, encounter. Nope, this is dupes. I swear to God, if there's nothing new in this route at all, I'll be really pissed. I mean, if I'm surfing, I can get a tentacle, which would give me a tentacruel. But again, that's just overstocking me with poison types. And I don't... I mean, it's very special... Oh, hello. Golbat. I think I've got a Zubat, so I think this is Species Claws. I think this is Species Claws. I'm going to run away. Wait, was that Pokemon Christmas or this? Oh, no, 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 no. Don't tell me I just forfeited my encounter. Uh, where's Zubat? Where's Zubat? Where's Zubat? Oh, I don't have a Zubat. I just forfeit my encounter. Great. Just great. Well. That was depressing. And now I'm fighting a Nidor King. Great. Bruce, destroy. You're seven levels higher. You're super effective. You're stabbed. You're still not going to kill it, are you? <laughs> not even close. Double kick. Still going to do nothing because I am considerably higher level. Let's go. Water gun. Boom. Down goes Nidor King. You are no King Dave, you're an imposter. Alright, Bruce, level 25. Who else have you got? Nidder Queen. Uh, okay, am I gonna switch? Um Is there any point switching actually? I mean It's not gonna have any ground type moves, so Miss Hiss is gonna eat up everything this thing can do. Double kick, we resist. Poison type moves, we resist. The other thing it could have would be Scratch, which would be neutral, but we'll eat it up. We're six levels higher and we're bulky. Let's see. Six damage. Nothing. Plus, we're faster, so we have the opportunity to flinch with Headbutt. We don't get the flinch, but we're going to kill it in this turn, so easy. Easy victory. And it probably going to take Miss Hiss level 24, actually. Not going to lie. Yeah, buddy. Miss Hiss grew to level 24. The current MVP of the Nuzlocke. And that's what these Nuzlocke's are about. Using different mons. Using things you wouldn't potentially normally go to in a story. I mean, some people might play with Arbok quite a bit. Some, some people may use those kind of mons. It's not something I've ever used ever before. And I'm really enjoying using it. Obviously, it's only recently become an Arbok, but like having Miss Hiss as an Ekans, like train up the Ekans as soon as I gave a headbutt, and Glare as well. Glare is a very good move, period. Having it on my Serperia um, is very handy. And just having that prowess, that extra move, it just adds a bit of diversity to them on. 
It's its unique trait. Okay, I uh, need strength to get through there. That's going to be fine. Uh, what's up here? Oh, item. What do we got? What do we got? Ether. That'd be handy if I run out of PP down the line, if I'm stuck battling and can't get back to a Pokemon Center. We should be okay though. I mean, most of my moves have plenty of PP, so we should be alright. Okay, Ratata. I think not. Let's get out of here. Um, so we forfeit the Mount Mortar encounter. We still haven't found a Route 42 encounter. So the best thing I can do... I'm going to headbutt a couple of trees. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. Please be something new. Potential hair. It's a dupes. Again. I know I'm able to get hair across in this area, but... We're just going to pass on this, I think. I will come back. It's going to be a fishing encounter or a surfing encounter. Um... I'm going to heal up, and then we are going to challenge the Kimono Girls. That is a lot of extra XP. And then once we've dealt with that, I'm probably going to be ready for the gym. So I'm going to sort out a few healing items, take on the gym trainers, and get cracking. But the gym stuff itself is going to wait until the next episode, I think. Um, because the Kimono Girls, there's going to be five battles, I think. So, yeah, we're going to be at least one, two, three. Yeah, there's five evolutions in this game, so there's going to be five battles. So let's get this uh, done and out of the way, shall we? All right, who's up there? Flareon is up first. Not really that usable in this end because it's more of a physical attacker than a special attacker. And most of its moves are going to be special. Like, even Bite that it'll have won't do anything, pretty much. But again, okay, one down, four to go. Let's see if these kimono girls can cause a dent in my Nuzlocke armor. Who's next? You. All right, let's go. Which one do you have? It's Espeon. Ah. It's gonna have. I'm specially bulky. I'm a lot higher level, and this should hopefully flinch, 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 flinch. Okay, we will survive this. I'm pretty confident we're gonna survive this. Not even half damage. We'll kill it this turn. It is a worry sometimes. Like if it had side beam, I'd be really concerned. But I mean, we're, sp we're quite specially bulky. We're a lot higher level. It may be stab super effective, but we're good. So, Miss Hiss, level 25. We need to train someone else. Uh, who's going to be actually useful in the gym? Angry Bear. Having that immunity to ghost type, just switching in for the ghost type moves. Could be pretty useful. Plus, Fero. Oh, I don't think it's going to get Pursuit in this gen. I mean, obviously, it, it, Pursuit being special as well is not really going to be that much help, but having the neutral, uh, the immunity to Ghost and then hitting it with some flying-type moves might be quite good. Alright, switch you out. Send in Treebeard. Treebeard could use some XP as well. Uh, low kick. Let's see what we can do. Pursuit, that's going to be special. Alright, should do a bit of damage. Umbreon has bulk for days. We need we need a defense drop. So um, that was a crit as well. Uh, on rock smash. Drop the defense. Drop the defense. Damn it. We might be in range to kill it with a low kick now though. Hopefully. Yes. Okay. That's good. That's good. That's another one down. Angry Burb and Treebeard getting some nice XP. Alright, two to go. Let's do this. Now I think it's Vaporeon and Jolteon I've still got a face in battle. Yep, yeah, it's Vaporeon up first. Angry Bird. Uh, 
They probably it is quite bulky. Let's see what we can do. Ooh, that's doing nothing. I mean, maybe if I got five hits, it might do some okay damage, but... Okay, that did a lot more damage than I was anticipating. We only... Yeah, five hits would have been fine. Don't crit. Please don't crit. That's going to kill. Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Switching out. I'm going to send in Magneto. A Thundershock should kill this thing. A Thundershock should kill this thing. Please live a water gun. Alright, we're good. Thundershock, take this thing down. Wow, it... Oh, my days, it lived. That's pretty good, actually. Vaporeon would be lovely to have, but obviously I need to find an elemental stone. And elemental stones are difficult to come by in this game. Oh, dear me. All right. We have one more to battle. Boom. And this will... Yeah, we're going to run out of time probably at the end of this battle. So this will be the last point of call for the episode. We're definitely switching Angry Burb out of here. Uh, let's send in Treebeard. We don't have the immunity to Electric, but he's powerful. Jolteon's fragile, but Jolteon has good special. Uh-oh. Um, oh, and it obviously it outspeeds as well, because we have shocking speed. Let's see how much damage Rock Throw does. Hopefully we'll kill it in one. We don't. Oh, wow. All right, I do have plenty of super potions, so I'm going to heal up very quickly. Slap that on you. Go to the Sand Attack. Okay, Rock Throw doesn't have the best accuracy in the world. And with hit with a double Sand Attack. Ah, we still get the hit. Excellent. I'm going to collect Surf off that guy um, at the episode end, and that will do. That will be a perfect place to end up. So thank you very much for watching. I've been your host, Super Saiyan Blue Lucario. Don't forget to uh, follow us on social media. Give us a like on Facebook, follow me on Twitter and Instagram. Links to all will be at the side of this video and the description box below. Don't forget to leave a like, comment, and subscribe for more content uploaded every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Check out the other series we have. We have the Let's Play for Legend of Zelda Oracle of Ages as well going up on this channel. And until next time, it's time for me to have a cup of tea.